So, give us a second. will this change the game? Uh, it's definitely a game changer in terms of a software update. It is the most significant thing to have happened uh, to Ethereum. To your question about the flippening, whether um, Ethereum will uh, become bigger than Bitcoin, uh, I do have my doubts. I'm incredibly bullish on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. In my personal portfolio, I hold both for the long run. It means for uh, at least 10 years from now. Uh, I do hold Ethereum right now around the merge because I've got some super bullish around the efficiencies that you guys uh, pointed out right now. But, you know, anyone who is writing off Bitcoin, I think that's too soon. OK, would this be a vote then, almost a referendum on what's better then? If, if this goes to plan, if you know the, the, the merge goes successfully, of course, it's the second half of, of, of the process. Uh, what does it mean then for the future of proof of work? Uh, I mean, I, to me, these are not necessarily competing concepts, but they're different okay. in the sense that uh, Bitcoin is more akin to gold. It is also the biggest and largest uh, cryptocurrency, having been around mm. uh, the longest, you know, performed very well in anticipation of the inflation that we're seeing right now. So a better version of gold. And then you have Ethereum, which is useful for a number of different things. It's building out the decentralized world of finance which Nexo does also play uh, a role. So it is a very different in terms of narratives and concepts. And I think both are useful. And with, uh, with, with the merge and now the moving to the energy efficiency, you know, we are uh, uh, now having this asset class be prime time ready for large institutions that previously did not via their mandates to invest in only ESG compliant uh, uh, mm. protocols uh, and companies, you know, now they have this entry point to crypto, which is uh, uh, sizable. So to me, are things in parallel not necessarily competing? And what, what do you think this means for the price of Ether? H has all of this, the merge, been baked in? And, and how do you think that's going to impact other coins and blockchains? Listen, I bought in around uh, $1,300, rolled it all the way up to thousand uh, to 2000 Now it's around 1600 There is a case to be made that a large uh, effect of the uh, a large amount of uh, the, uh, the the hype is already priced in. So there might be uh, 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 a, a coming down a little bit. But I think ultimately, once people see the benefits play out, the, the fact that we are now moving from from essentially an inflationary uh, uh, type of asset, uh, you know, 4.5%, uh, the circulating supply got increased every year. Now this gets slashed in half, uh, making this a close to a deflationary assets as possible, unlike the Fed and what they have been doing. You know, I think this ultimately will play a very bullish role uh, in the, uh, the, the short, uh, the mid and long term. As well, I want to just see you know, the, the fallout from Three Arrows and, and Terra here as well. Is, is that now over with? It's sent to chill through the whole crypto world. And of course, it was then called the crypto winter for a while. Is the worst behind us now? I think the worst is behind us right now um, because, you know, all of that is already priced in. You know, we we saw the, uh, the almost halving on, of pricing uh, uh, in the various crypto assets. Uh, a lot of blood on the street. A lot of uh, retail getting hurt, and we have been then more or less steadily trading for Bitcoin around 20,000 with, you know, uh, short variations to the up and the side uh, and the downside. But I do like to think that this has been flushed out of the system. Uh, obviously, very important what the Fed will be doing. You know, this hawkish tone that we have seen in the past few months doesn't bode well with uh, uh, risk on assets, which crypto, quite frankly, still remains. So, but in terms of the internal dynamics and some of the uh, the, the downside risks, I, I think that it has been priced in. And quite frankly, they have, uh, you know, crypto has weathered the storm collectively uh, well, in my opinion. And maybe this merge can, can add a bit more optimism into these markets that have been so, you know, crushed in a way, Anthony. Um, just talk a little bit about your operations. You mentioned earlier this morning there's been a pause in both the Ethereum Polygon networks that has been in effect. 
Uh, any indications how long that pause is going to be and when you can actually resume operations again? Well, we're expecting the merge in, I think about four hours is not an exact science, depends on uh, on, on the blockchain system. Uh, we have taken all security measures to ensure the integrity of the system, just like any other uh, large providers. I think we should be up and running shortly after the merge if there are no glitches. And this really is an upgrade to uh, your iPhone uh, uh, type of uh, procedure. I am hopeful that this you know, having been in the making for a number of years now, we, we'll be a smooth uh, transaction and we can, uh, you know, operate uh, even more efficiently from henceforth.